Here's how to create this really cool staggered time lapse effect in Adobe After Effects. The first thing we're going to do is start with our time lapse video. If you're unsure on how to do a time lapse video, I have tutorials on that. It depends on your camera. But this one's going to work cool because it's a day to night time lapse, so we get this unique contrast between light and dark. The next thing I'll do is just duplicate this time lapse. So I'll press Command D to duplicate it. And on the duplicated layer, I'm going to search for an effect called Gradient Ramp. So this will be in the Generate Video Effects folder. I'll drag this onto the clip and it'll just create a gradient over top of it. And I'm actually going to change the start and end points and I'll just click them from left to right instead of top to bottom. The other thing I'm going to do is add an effect called Posterize. That's in the Stylize Effects folder and I'll click and drag that onto the same clip. So now we have this staggered gradient. You can change the amount of levels from lesser or more, but this is the main idea. Now I can actually just hide the visibility of this track because I don't actually need it to be visible. We're just going to use it for our next effect, which is the time displacement effect. So if I search for the time displacement effect in the time folder, I can find that and drag it onto our original time lapse clip this time. And in the effect controls panel, search for the duplicated layer. So that's the first one. And make sure you change it from source to effects and masks. So it's going to take a look at this layer number one, which is this one. It's going to consider the effects, which is the gradient that we did. And then you can adjust the displacement time to be greater or smaller. So in this case, here's what six seconds difference between each cut looks like. I can do more. It depends on you know how, how long your time lapse shot was. But in this case, we get this really cool day to night slice happening because the camera is stationary, but the light inside of the camera time lapse is changing. So if you think this effect is cool, I have another tutorial all about time displacement where I show you other ideas on using it on moving clips. But this was just a really cool example that I wanted to make a full separate video on. My name is Justin Odisho. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.